When I'm out in town, uh, I get a case like always coming to me for autograph and some of them start singing my name. Just cool. I can't sing it in Swedish, but it means the that comes scores again. <laughs> Helsingborg is bigger than Ostersund and it's close to all the big cities. Gothenburg, Malmö, Copenhagen. Seeing people wearing your shirt, singing your name, it means a lot. So you just go on the page and try to do your best for the team. I'm about to go to my Swedish lesson. Yeah, I feel really bad, but sometimes I don't really do my homework. Yo, yo, ka, ont i hela kropan mobirat um. Most of the session is taken in Swedish. When a coach specifically I want to say something to me, maybe two touches, three touches, and do this, do that, I don't understand them. And if you want to play well, you have to get used to all this stuff. So you have to sacrifice a little bit of time to learn the language. It's always difficult when you're far from home, living in a different country, different place. So it was nice when I met Mabel. She's like a medallion figure for me here. She always advised me, talk to me, and sometimes cook like a nice Ghanaian dishes for me to eat. I've never met any Ghanaian here in Nelson Boy. Most of the time, if I don't see him and I call him, hey, I haven't seen you for like three, four days, what's happening? I'm tired, I'm sleeping, I need to rest. He rests a lot because he's always training. Last time they played with he won the man of the match and I got the honor. They gave me the flowers and a very <laughs> beautiful one. For me my target was like to improve every game and I've improved a lot and I'm on a different level compared to the beginning of the season. I've played 24 games, scored 10 and 4 or 6, so not bad for a winger. Yeah for me I'm, I'm really happy to see all the guys from the academy doing really well for themselves especially Tom Rogic. For me, it's the best player from the academy. And I'm not surprised he's playing for uh, Celtic and being called for the national team. It was great when I got a call from the coach to play for the national team. After the call, I phoned my parents and they were like, they were in shock because they didn't expect me to be in the national team this time. It's just nice, like, when people appreciate what you're doing and they're proud of you because of what you're doing on the pitch. For me, I'm really looking forward to finish the season on a good note and go back to Ghana to see my family and friends. Sometimes you need a break to, to just sit down and think about how far you come and, and how far you want to go. I just want to improve every day, not only as a footballer, but also as a person.